Hey everyone, welcome to another $1,000 strap search. I've got my $1,000 in singles here and I'm about to show you what I found. But before I do, let's talk about this week's tip. Now, most people that collect U.S. currency uh, seem to collect literally U.S. currency. Uh, stuff from the Federal Reserve, maybe some nationals. Um, but there's also all of the Confederate notes. And there's a lot of really beautiful Confederate notes out there. Um, technically, those were from states that are now part of the U.S. and were part of the U.S. beforehand. So, technically, you can still collect those if you limit yourself to just U.S. notes. Because they are, well, U.S. notes. They were part of the United States. They are currently part of the United States. Some of them were printed even before they had... Uh, left the Union before the Civil War. In fact, many states had printed their own stuff because it wasn't until 1862 that the federal government started printing all the notes. So I would highly suggest flipping through some of the Confederate States of America notes just to see, because some of the artwork is great. Uh, some of the notes even have more of a comic book look to them because of the font that was used. They almost look handwritten in some parts. Uh, they're very interesting and fascinating notes. And, of course, they are part of history. And they're usually ridiculously cheap. However, when it comes to Confederate States notes, there were a lot of counterfeits made. And some of them were counterfeited to try to disrupt the economy. Some of them were used as advertising. Um, so you do have to be careful when you're purchasing the notes. Uh, things you want to look for is the notes were hand-signed, the notes were hand-cut. Um, so you want to look for the rust in the signatures and you want to look to see that they are hand numbered or if they are stamped, that everything is consistent. A lot of times you're going to find signatures on the back as well. Um, I'll have to go into a more detail, uh, with some of those notes just so you guys can see it. But, uh, like I was saying, the CSAs, the Confederate States of America notes, uh, should be additions to your collection because for the most part, they're pretty cheap. Uh, the first edition stuff is really expensive, but the rest of it, yeah, you can get for a decent price. All right, that's what I've got this week. Let's slide these out of the way and take a look at what I found. Starting off, found a Where's George and a Jesus Loves You. Where's George? Track this at where'sgeorge.com. I will be logging that real quick. By the way, a good poll this week. Uh, found an alternator, 64616768. So it has six as every other number. Then some trinaries, threes, fours, and fives. Uh, this is fours, sixes, and nines. Threes, sixes, and sevens. Older note, too. Fours, fives, and sixes. This one is also fours, fives, and sixes, but of course they are in a different order. Yeah, one starts with a six, one starts with a four. Um, zeros, ones, and threes. And then we got some quads. Quad ones. Another one with quad ones, and it's a trinary, ones, twos, and sevens. Quad fives with a fifth. Another quad fives. Quad eights. Quad nines. No, one, two, three, four, five. That's actually five of a kind. Five nines together. Would have been real nice to have one that was six, on, six uh, notes further. That would have made it uh, six in a row. So close. Then I found some stars. 2017 star note. Always checking to see if they're filled. Another 2017A. Another 2017A. This one's in better shape. 2017A hard, hard crease through the center. 2017, once again, always checking those stars to make sure that they aren't filled. 2017. Another 2017, starting with a couple zeros, so maybe. 2017 again. And what do we got here? 2013. Another 2013. Another 2013. Once again, starting with a few zeros. 2013B. Um, is that potentially one? I think that is potentially one of the doubled numbers. 2006. 2000. And uh, now we're getting to the older notes. Here's a 2003A that I pulled. Another 2003A. Another 2003A. This one is in probably the better shape of all of them. And another 2003A. This one is the best yet. Uh, 2001. Here's 2001. 
here is a 1999, another 99, not quite as nice. Another 99, almost a birthday note, but uh, you can't use 43, 1912, April, April 43rd. Yeah, no, not a birthday note. <laughs> 1995, not a web note. We're looking here or here. Since it has a location right here, I know it's not a web note. Also, web notes aren't... This one was printed in Fort Worth, um, and it also has the letter there. A web note's only going to have one single digit over on that side. Another 95, also not a web note. 1988A, first year for web notes, but this one is not a web note. Another 90... Uh, another 1988A. And the oldest note, this one was from 1988. Not an 88A. And it's still got some crispness to the paper. So that was kind of cool. All right, so what did I pull this week? Well, this week, since I was talking about CSAs a little bit, uh, I did get a hold of a really neat CSA that I wanted to share with you guys. This one is from September 21st. 1861. So if I if I remember correctly, this is before the before the actual war had started. If if I remember correctly, uh, Confederate States of America twenty dollars issued in Richmond, Virginia, and you can see the guy is on a he's on a boat. You can see the boat in the background over here. This would be the I forgot what you call it, but you can see where you stick the boards in so that they can walk around in a circle to pull up the anchor. Really cool uh, boat up in the center here with three masts, a couple in the background as well. And looking on this side, you've got all kinds of detail. Now, when you read, <laughs> this one is tougher to read because they've got some of it here, some of it here. Uh, let's see. Uh, it says, receivable in payment of all dues except export dues. That's what it says in the stamp over here. Uh, can't quite, can't quite make out all this stuff because it's a little bit darker, but it says six months after the ratification of a treaty of peace between, <laughs> and by the way, here's the of a, and then it says the Confederate States with the United States, the Confederate States of America <clears throat> will pay $20 to the bearer in Richmond, Virginia, September 21st, 1861. Then it's hand signed. You can see here it's also hand numbered, making that really interesting. So once again, this note was essentially a promissory note saying that the Confederate States of America will pay after they win. It says after the ratification of a treaty of peace, but that would mean that the Confederate States would have had to have won because if the Confederate States lost, there would be no Confederate States of America, and of course there are not. Now looking at the back, uh, this one has not been redeemed, obviously, um, and on the back, this is bleed through from this signature. In fact, if you look real close on this signature, it does have the orange hue showing a little bit of rust from the iron that was in there. Uh, this one was written very lightly, and if we flip this one over, you can see through the paper, I mean, but you can't, ha you don't have the ink coming through. This one was very dark, so that one bled through the paper. The paper itself is like rice paper. It's very thin. Uh, it feels like newsprint to the touch, and uh, yeah, you can see there's you know, there's quite a bit of folds and stuff, but that doesn't change the coolness of this note. Um, this one kind of has a cartoonish, kind of has a comic book look to it. Uh, others more so, but this particular one, I kind of get that feeling of it. And uh, let's take a peek at what the book has to say about it. Here is the book. The book does deal with Confederate stuff. Um, at a glance, you would think that was the note, but this is actually the very first edition from the act of August 19th, 1861. And our note was dated in September, which makes it, let's see, here we go. Uh, CS 17. No, that's not it. It's, I don't know if I can get it in here. There we go. Right there. Three masted sailing ship at left sailor leading on the capstan. That's what it was. Blank reverse. 
So there it is, a number 18 in VG8, you're talking 50, and a 12, you're talking 60. VF20 is 85, and uh, even Choice on Circulator, you're talking only $175. So yeah, that one is easy to add into any collection. Uh, mine's probably in the, in the 20 range, I'd say. So you're talking about $85 on that particular one. Uh, the other one, <laughs> where to go, right there, is uh, a little bit more. 85 is where it starts. Uh, if it's choice uncirculated for that one, you're talking uh, $1,250. The difference you're going to notice is right here. This has got the pillar and it says 20 on it versus having the sailor at the cap spin right there. So that's what I've got for you guys this week, an 1861 $20 CSA. If you learned anything new this week, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like what you see and you want to see more, please subscribe. Love reading your comments. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.